What's up, Cam Troops, aka Kamal Squad? You already know who it is. It's me, Cameron Armani, coming back to you guys with another YouTube video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up before it even starts, and be sure to drop down in the comment section below if you have any more videos like me to do. And guys, today's YouTube video is gonna be about Full Sail University Month 5. For me, it was Art History Online. I told you guys I go to school from Houston, Texas, digital cinematography and this class was the worst i mean the worst the worst the worst i was this close to retaking the class um and i had the time like y'all and excuse my hair my face breaking out whatever so obviously we have our welcome to our history which was pretty much you're getting started like all the other classes we have our professionalism as always our instructors contact information our calendars and deadlines uh you have to sign up for your ebook information if you see me keep looking over here my laptop's over here. I'm just looking at it. Uh, you have your references, your rubrics, and video transcripts and stuff like that. Um, you have uh, a little thingy that tells you about your weekly readings. And then your community uh, discussion board, which on the discussion board, you had to post uh, something about yourself. So I pretty much did like my name. This is my fifth month here at Full Sail University. And I do YouTube or whatever on the side and stuff like that. Uh, you didn't have to respond to anybody. That was just the like the gist of getting started then on top of that as well you have week one lord so week one for me was called prehistoric history it was ancient art now i'm gonna be real with you guys i don't like i keep saying that i'm not a fan of art like i like art but i'm not a fan i don't really care about brush strokes and what kind of brush they use and lighting no 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 i just don't care about art like i'm just being honest i don't care who did the painting i care about the, i don't know ma'am so you have your live session you sign up for that um which the live session is really weird to me but anyways you have your live sessions uh then you have chapter one two three four five and six you have six chapters to read this week and man are they long but say for example you click on chapter one um if you guys can see as oops okay inside of chapter one there's like a video and in that video um you can watch that like a uh, three minute video and then it pretty much sums up the entire chapter. You don't have to actually read the chapter, but I would suggest reading the chapter because there's a quiz in week one and week four and they're super hard. So the first six chapters are listed out like it looks like a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of reading. So mine was prehistoric art in Europe, uh, Near East, Egypt, Greece, Roman art that kind of stuff then you have your first assignment half of that assignment is due wednesday like always um your discussion post i was called art and the afterlife so <sighs> for my discussion post it was a bunch of information so it had to be 150 to 150 to 500 words was your initial response and you had to respond to your peer in 50 words so pretty much i had to choose i'm gonna show you guys again i had to choose an image a prehistoric image or whatever and then i had to write about it and also this class is really big on citing your images and that is a headache itself man and then you have to cite the book at the bottom and then you just respond to your classmate and off this one assignment i got an 81 guys this is where i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god i got an 81 off of this uh the professor gave some feedback but i don't feel like her feedback was as constructive as it could have been because once you follow her feedback she would critique it again and be like oh but you should have did it this way like sis you're critiquing yourself at this point um and then you know your response to someone like i said we also had something called the formal elements and principles of design which is something you're going to use this entire course it's a headache it's not weight, but it's about line, shape, form, space, color, texture, surface, balance, emphasis, movement, pattern, repetition, portion, scale, rhythm, variety, unity. All of those words you need to get familiar with because they are very, very important in this class. Remember, we're still on week one. And then on top of that, you have an assignment, which is like a virtual free response. This is like your quiz of the week, but you're just pretty much going to be um, answering a couple questions about like art history like for example some of the questions it was 10 questions it was pretty much like um it would say in which way can you improve communication and skills gained from art history it was really weird man um it was like mentioning specific parts from previous videos or chapters 
should this painting be considered art it was a bunch of paintings and stuff like it was like really weird so that was pretty much week one i got an 84 on that quiz so in week one i made an 82.5 like yeah mm -mm. week two where it all went down here where i cried so much because i'm like i cannot retake this class like i was again this close to failing this class so week two was uh medieval renaissance art i got a 79.67 on this entire week uh, you had register for your go-to training. You had chapters 7, 10, 11, 12, and 13. It's so only five chapters this week. Obviously, they have the videos, but you want to read it because there's quizzes that come up. Um, discussion post, which is like your really first assignment, which was 10% of your grade. Um, it was called um, Artistic Something. I don't know. My, I don't know what that said. Girl, <laughs> I'm just being real. So you have to do your discussion prompt. Um, it was about all chapters again, 100 and, 150 to 500 words, and then you had your 50 question and response. It's pretty much the same thing, but it's not in a way. So, again, here's an example of mine. Uh, we did like two images this week one image, you have to cite your image, do some information, another image, cite that information, and then you respond to your peers. And guys, I got a 79 on this entire um class i got a 79 on this assignment like it was the worst um next assignment on week two is a, a visual analyst paper um you had to choose three artworks you had to do 200 words about each artwork you had to pretty much put the art author's name the title the date time and period uh the medium and the size like the oil what kind of canvas the heights the inches and different stuff like that uh you had to put like the subject and then you have to include line, shape, color, space, texture, balance, emphasis, focus, movement, pattern, repetition, portrait, all that stuff, y'all. You have to include it in this assignment. It was, again, formal um, elements of art and principles of design. Okay. And then you have to double space your work, um, cite your page. Obviously, it had to be all APA citations, which is something we learned in um, English composition which I think was month four for us. And then they have a bunch of different links on stuff like that. And then you have to go ahead and complete it. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of give you a little quick example of what my document looked like. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to do it. I'm not trying to get in trouble. But anyways, um, the professor critiqued it. I did get a 90 on this assignment. This assignment was pretty easy. It just took a lot of time. It wasn't easy, I'm just being honest. And then you have your quiz. Again, this is still week two. You have your quiz at the end of the week, which was, it was reviewed from week one and two review in style identification. And I got a 50 on this quiz. I'm just being honest. I got a 50 on this quiz and it sucked. It was the worst quiz in my life. Um, it was a total of 20 questions. I got 10 right. I got 10 wrong. So again, it was a 50. This test was the dumbest test I've ever taken. And you only get one attempt at all of these tests, all of these quiz. So yeah week three was called early modern early modern modern art uh, again go to uh, session sign up you have chapter 14 17 18 19 and 20 back to your five chapters and then it was pretty much like modern art in europe this pretty this entire week was pretty much all about europe um and then you have 1945 art um so it was really two assignments this week which was your it's not a lot it's just the reading you have to read if you want to do the test you can't really watch the videos when it comes to the quizzes uh you have your discussion which a discussion post which was called social and political commentary and art i think i said that right um i got a 93 on it i was really happy this week y'all I, I cried so hard in week two i'm like week um three and four I got to bang it out if I want to pass this class. And I did. So I got a 93 on this assignment. Um, you go back to your 150 to 500 words, your 50 question response. And uh, you just have to choose a certain painting style or a certain era. You have to post about it. And then you have to do like social media. I use Demi Lovato. And then how social media is influenced. And then you have to respond to your classmates. The professor really, really liked it. But she still had a few pointers. She was really picky. She still had a few things that she wanted to be different about it. But nobody cares. This is art history. And you had an assignment part one, which was called your gallery art. I mean, your Google art gallery create a theme. This is your project. This project is going to be the main focus of week four so this right here is not a quiz it's just pretty much by wednesday this is the assignment is due wednesday you have to submit a little um 
letter to your professor saying are you going to choose history religion mythology music nature women um geography time period artistic style color all that crazy stuff and then you have to answer a bunch of questions so they pretty much give you a breakdown of what your project should look like or something that it's like focus on and then um yeah that's pretty much that i don't know why i click on it like that what it should look like or what it should focus on and then your professor will tell you if it's too broad or not or whatever and then yeah so you pretty much leave your professor a 50 word statement and then she'll respond telling you if it's too much which she thought mine was too broad but it is what it is because at the end of the day i use her advice so anyways i got a 93.64 on this week i was like let's go Week four, last class. I know it's a long video. It was called World Culture. So we have our live sessions. Uh, you had a reminder about your Google Gallery, meaning like it's almost due. This was due, I believe. This was due that Wednesday. You had chapter four, eight, nine, 15, and 16. You had your five chapters that you still needed to read because uh, you do have a quiz about week three and four. It was review and style identification. We're going to get into that in a minute. Uh, you have your discussion post, which was your Google Arts Gallery peer review, which was 10% of your grade. Um, man. So you had to, what was this one? Oh, this one was, so before this, that Wednesday. Okay, so I'm going to come back to this one because I messed up right here. So the initial assignment too, which was your Google gallery, you had to actually create a gallery with 10 um, images specifically to, I did realism specifically to the art movement you decided to go with. And then you have to create a Google Docs. Um, how many words was it? Man, this one was really long. I'm going to just say 150 to 75 to 150 words. You have to create a Google document. It's going to show you how to create all of this stuff per image or per 10 images. And then you have to uh, put that title inside of the other assignment. And then you have to link it, turn it to private, comment on your classmates. And then last assignment of the week, which was your quiz, which y'all, I got to wait to pass this quiz because I, I, I thought I was going to fail it. You're going to get one attempt, 20 questions on all quizzes. And if you want to know, I got a way to pass this quiz. Google images, search it, and it's going to give you the answer. I kid you not. Google gave me all the answers to this quiz, y'all. And I got a 90 on it, and I'm super excited. Uh, a lot of it I did use myself. References. You can always use the book, but it's really hard. It's a lot to read. Um, and I got a 90 on that quiz. So my week, this week, week four, I got a 96.34. And my total grade in the class was an 88.60. I'm be honest the best possible grade to get in this class anyway starting off she told us was a 90 and so I think I did pretty good although I stressed so much if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe give this video a big thumbs up be sure to drop down in the comment section below if you have any more videos like me to do it's me Karen Amani and I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video